everybody and welcome back to House Flipper. I normally do not have the sort of announcements page open when I start this game. I sort of start you on the, you know, the main page. But I'm so excited about this. Like I said in most of my previous videos on this game, the developers are still working on it. Which is sort of insane for a game that's been out for this long. But... October 14th, they are doing a new DLC. So they've already had a couple DLCs for this game. The one that did HGTV and the Yard one. But now they're doing a luxury House Flipper one. So very excited for that. And they're doing a, a cool Halloween contest because they're putting a bunch of new Halloween stuff. So, so excited for that. I will probably be participating in that. Uh, I definitely need to check out their social media again. It's been forever since I did. But yeah, I just wanted to make all of you aware of that at the beginning of the video. If you also play House Flipper, add that to your wish list. I will be. Uh, I wish I was sponsored, but I'm not. But yeah, I just love this game. They're a great company. They actually stuck with their game. So wanted to let all of you know about that. But we are going to be continuing our game today and uh, hopefully picking up some tiling as that is our next thing to do. So our house is looking a little bit neater. Everything's sort of shoved around our desk though. So <laughs> let's go ahead and hop onto our laptop to see what sort of jobs we have. Baby on the way, bushes, knock walls down, student house cleanup. Well, I think we're going to start with the student house cleanup just to uh, take care of a lot of dirty stuff today. So basically, let's see what this one is. Good morning. I hope you can help me. I'm retired and not in the best of health. I currently own an apartment that I have been renting to students for many years. This year, unfortunately, I rented to a bad bunch of students which turned out to not be the best decision. They didn't pay on time, so I went to check things out. When I opened the door, I almost had a heart attack. The whole house was a pigsty. There was trash, liquor bottles, and mud everywhere. And they were laying in on the kitchen floor drinking. When I spoke to them, they rudely told me to get lost. I finally got them evicted, but the mess still remains. Some of the furniture and radiators are missing. Can you please help clean up my house and make it suitable for new tenants so I can put this mess behind me? Yours sincerely, Nick Flo. So let's go see just how bad of a number they did on this house. You sort of see the little synopsis there, but yeah. Welcome to the uh, frat house, boys. It's not bad at all. Just, you know, trash in every single corner. What? How do you even do this to a couch? Like, guys, if you ever rent any property do not trash it one you will lose your deposit and two this, living like this is disgusting just don't don't do it <laughs> yeah you can uh, see this is what happens when you rent to uh, people that don't give a care in the world about your stuff I'm surprised uh, I've seen some houses where uh, they straight up don't even use trash bags and it's just all the trash is laying everywhere why can I not get this one that's annoying I'll have to grab that in a second I'll probably need to move the chair first let's move that you can go in the corner now I can get that trash bag uh, this is also a very, very big house. So this one's going to be a nice, little bit longer than usual video. I'm probably going to try some different editing strategies as well. Because I do want to start doing a bit more editing in my videos. And make them a bit more fun to watch, I guess. Because I honestly love this. But it... <laughs> Editing's not my specialty, so it's something that I'm learning over time. Now, looking here, if you have a fear of cockroaches, there are cockroaches that are going to be featured here. I'm not going to turn them off and turn them into pieces of glass because I think they're cool. But yes, we have giant cockroach nests in this house. Normally, the places that you get cockroaches are places that you have like paper just sitting around or just a ton of filth. 
So, yeah, getting a nest like this is just incredibly disgusting. <laughs> Uh, time to vacuum up the cockroaches because that's apparently the best way to get rid of them. <laughs> I don't actually know how to get rid of cockroaches IRL. They're sort of impossible to kill because of the fact that, uh, you know, they can live without their head. They're very, very annoying to deal with. And we're probably going to have to move this fridge here so that we can get back there and get the rest. Oh, no, nope, it got them. Eh, we need to get behind the fridge anyways. Pick up the rest of the trash. They literally have an entire trash can inside. That is the third nest here. We need to get a new skill point, though. For cleaning, we're going for faster cleaning again. Then we're going for vision next. Because you know I like seeing my dirt everywhere. It makes it a lot easier to track down where in the world it actually is. This house is so trashed, it is almost difficult to tell what's trash and what's technically furniture because, like, look at that, guys. All of the alcohol. That's how you know it's a frat house. <laughs> or being used as one, rather. Uh, there are a total of six cockroach necks in this house. You can tell by the top right corner. Uh, it gives you a sort of generic list of what has to be done in the house. So yeah, there's a lot of cockroach nests in uh, this house. Not a really a great sign. Why won't you? Come on, cockroaches. Work with me. Like, four cockroaches left, and they don't want to get vacuumed. I'm vacuuming directly on top of you. Why will you not get vacuumed? There we go. I destroyed the nest. Those two should despawn momentarily. Let's switch to a different tool. And we'll go back and look at it in a second. There we go. Falcon nests are destroyed. So now we're going to switch to our lovely little cleaning wand. And we're going to start cleaning up this catastrophe they call a kitchen. We have quite a few places to clean, so we're... We're going to take a pause in the kitchen since we've already taken a bit of a pause in here and just sort of do a nice little scrub and show you how nice of a house this actually is. Because this is actually one of my favorite houses that we clean. It's big and a little bit confusing to navigate, but honestly, once you actually get this house cleaned, it is one of the prettiest houses in the game. So, I want to sort of show you guys just the kitchen. I love the layout of this kitchen. This is the type of kitchen I would love to have IRL. Because look at all that under cabinet space. All the countertop to work on. They actually have a nice little bar here. The fridge is sort of small. But, I mean, you could slide the cabinetry slightly to get a bigger fridge in here. We're going to go ahead and move that fridge back to its original spot. World's ugliest fridge. But you know what? Every fridge has its place. Set the chairs back upright, nice and neat underneath the table. We're actually going to be doing a little bit more organizing on this house so that you guys can sort of see how that portion of the game works. But yeah, you can see this place is actually super nice. And then you turn around and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, this will always be my chill game though, so probably... Among my favorite games are this, Human Fall Flat, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Counter-Strike, I will not be making videos on because, I'm sorry, I do not have 17 hours to edit. Uh, which is about how long you have to edit if you want a good CS video. <laughs> so, I will only be making um, recordings on CS, but... Uh, streams on CS. But if you want to see streams, I do. I am starting to stream over on Twitch. I Until I get affiliate, I'll be streaming to both platforms. But part of the affiliate agreement is that you only stream to Twitch. So I'll probably be streaming over there. Then uploading my videos. Hopefully cut down to YouTube of the streams. I still want to make daily videos on top of streaming. Which is why I don't have a super set streaming schedule yet. Because... I'm still learning, you know, how all of this works, but over time, I will figure it out. Let's go ahead and clean these windows. 
get them looking a lot better. Hopefully I have the audio a bit better. I think I'm going to turn the game audio down because this is probably louder than me again. I completely forgot to turn the game volume down after last time and I know that this particular step gets a bit loud. It also feels like my mouse is moving at a, like, snail pace. I'm having to legitimately drag my mouse and lift it up and continue dragging. <laughs> I forget where you changed that setting. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going into the settings. Turning down the sound a little bit. Yeah, master volume's at 100. Let's turn that down to a 50. It might be a little quiet on some of the sound effects now, but that's okay. This is one of those games where the sound effects don't really add a ton so not having sound effects is not the end of the world. I would rather you guys not burst your eardrums than have sound effects, honestly. Okay. Why will you not do this? There we go. I had to shift it to be able to get it how I wanted it, but there we go. So that is done. So we need to clean the other window, then mount some devices in here, and then it should be done after that. Shouldn't be too terribly much longer. I missed my old mouse. I had a 16,000 DPI Razer mouse that I used for about five years, uh, basically since I started gaming, that recently stopped working. And it was the saddest day because that was my favorite mouse. Okay. We're going to go ahead, we're going to buy the radiator, we're going to mount it, and then after that, we should be pretty good to go. We need to move the bed out slightly. Go. Now let's get that radiator. See, now it'll work. And assemble the radiator by somehow squeezing ourselves between that tiny gap between the bed and the wall. They don't explain that, do they? <laughs> Alrighty. That room is completely done now. You can see that progress is showing complete in here. So we're gonna close that door as we go out. We will do this small bathroom next. I'm starting to do the room by room now as we are looking like we have all of the trash up. More trap dirt. Yes, there is. Okay, we're only 68% on the dirt. Okay, round the ceiling. I always forget to check the ceilings. Okay, 85%. Where's the rest of the dirt? Under the tub. 91%. I'm missing dirt somewhere. Where am I missing it? I'm gonna basically scrub everything until I magically find it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so they want a sink and a towel radiator in here. We're going to unscrew the caps from the sink so that we can install the new sink. And then we'll get the towel radiator as well. We just want a simple mountable sink. This is a rent rental home. You know that, you know, most people, when they're renting, don't put a ton of money into their rental properties unless they're actually one of those very rare good landlords. Uh, the place that I was renting before where I live currently, uh, my refrigerator looked like it was older than me and did not have a freezer handle. The seal was so old and cracked that it was not airtight and I would have about three inches of ice on the top of my freezer at all times. Half the burners did not work. I had to light the burners using a actual, uh, you know, uh, torch because they didn't light themselves. And I, uh, the house constantly smelled of gas. Anytime you used the stove, I legitimately was scared that the house would burn down. Uh, the kitchen was bad enough that I basically lived off of ramen while I lived there and I didn't even use the microwave, uh, because we didn't have one. So I made ramen using a tea kettle, an electric tea kettle that I would set up in my room so I would avoid going into the kitchen. The only person that did use the kitchen was my then roommate, who was a health nut. When I say health nut, 
I mean 50% of his diet was kale. And he didn't know how to cook. So I spent a entire year in an apartment that smelled like burnt kale. And if you've never smelt burnt kale, consider yourself lucky. It is not a pleasant smell. And uh, yeah, I lived with that for a full year. I will never eat kale again. Uh, I didn't really eat kale before, but I definitely don't want to eat it now. Now is when I wish I had my Dirt Raider. But we're going to go ahead and clean these windows. You can see how cloudy these ones are. I like the cloudy ones better because they're more satisfying to clean because you can actually see the difference. But yeah, burnt kale roommate, worst roommate I ever had. And uh, I'm saying burnt kale roommate's the worst roommate I ever had when I've had roommates that literally, like, stole shit from me and stuff. The burnt kale was that bad. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, there's my trash. There's my dirt, I mean. In the corner. Okay, 99%. Come on. We have to find that last little speck of dirt wherever it's hiding. It's probably on this side somewhere. We're just running around with our sweeper out, trying to find it. The magical sparse broom that fixes any sort of dirt anywhere at all times. Ugh. <sighs> There it is. Okay. Where is the radiator in here? It is behind me. Alrighty. Another basic radiator mounted below the window. And onwards and upwards. This house, like I said, it's really pretty. And it's actually super simple because you're not doing any super detailed work. You're really just cleaning and mounting a few things. So it's one of those nice quick jobs that actually gets you quite a bit of money because this job has only been a couple of minutes and I'm already going to be earning $2,600, which is a considerable amount of money for a job. Um, a lot of jobs don't pay out this much and that's just because of the amount of trash in here because they pay you pretty much per item <laughs> that you pick up. 92%. Okay, on the ceiling. It's always on the ceiling. 99%. There we go. Window time. These ones aren't as cloudy, but they are very yellow. <laughs> Did one of the drunk people vomit on this window? Because that is the only explanation. That or they're in South Carolina, where this is how all of our windows look in spring. I grew up in South Carolina, so pollen is the bane of my existence. <laughs> And humidity. Both of those two uh, can go stay in the south and leave me alone. Uh, and onwards. Radiator time. Should be one of our last radiators, hopefully. We are spending a little bit of money on this house because we are, of course, you know, putting in radiators and stuff. But you make a small profit when you put these things in. It's not a ton, but every little bit counts when you're uh, trying to save up to build your own stuff. We are going to move this into the correct location, like that, I believe. Nope, that's actually fine. It just looks wonky. I hate the layout of this room. It's really cramped, but the rest of the rooms are pretty cool. Okay, let's straighten out that couch, straighten out the coffee table. We're not making it perfect right now because this isn't one of the houses that we're going to sell or anything, so not super concerned with it. Uh, we'll do this hallway after we finish these last couple of rooms. This is another one of the ones that's just... I, I wish I had a magical mob that fixed up like this because fixing hardwood is so difficult. Um, my last apartment, we had... I, all of my stories are about my last apartment because I've not really had many. And uh, my other apartments, I was not in for a super long time because I was mainly, you know, taking over a room where people had, like, ditched in the middle of their lease. Because you can get a room really cheap if you're willing to just pick up a dropped lease. And uh, when you're broke, a dropped lease sounds really nice if it's going to save you money. So... I moved to Kentucky with everything I had 
in the passenger and back seat of a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta. Which is not a massive car, it is a sedan. And, uh, yeah, I was sort of kind of super broke and working at Best Buy. Do not miss that job in the slightest. Where's the rest of this dirt? Oh, well, we're gonna take a break, clean windows, and then we'll find the rest of the dirt. But yeah. Moved to Kentucky, everything I own in my Jetta. Moved in with a guy I met on the internet, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. But there were other people living there, so I was comfortable with it. Still don't recommend it though, guys. Be smart, don't make decisions when you're mad at your family. Uh, and lived there for a couple of months. Then I moved in with my boss's son. 40 year old guy, this was one of those situations where his roommate had broken the lease and he was trying to pay for a relatively expensive two bedroom apartment. So I had my own bedroom for dirt cheap and a roommate that I could play video games with despite the fact he was my boss's son that made it slightly awkward. And then after that, I had another broken lease that I stayed at for a couple of months. Then came Kale Guy. So, don't have many stories about the ones I only stayed at for a few months because, you know, never even had time to unpack on most of those. <laughs> most of my stuff has been in boxes since I moved here, not gonna lie. There's that dirt. I know it will be around here somewhere. There's that bedroom done. Let's go ahead and do this bathroom where it looks like somebody definitely did not have a good day in here. And uh, it was probably one of the drunk people. <laughs> uh, my first ever job was working at a gas station. And when you're the new person at a gas station, you get all those really bad jobs. And one of those really bad jobs is cleaning the bathrooms. Now, there's a very common debate over is the women's bathroom or the men's bathroom more disgusting in most public places. And I will agree with the large majority there and say it's usually the female bathroom because we have a lot more gross stuff that happens. However, females are more likely to tell you if there's an issue with the bathroom. Males are less likely. So sometimes when you go in to clean the men's restroom, you find a explosion. One time when I walked in to clean the men's restroom, because for some reason, none of the guys were willing to clean bathrooms. So it got delegated to me. Uh, I walked in, looked at the first handicap stall. This was a very large gas station. So there were two handicap stalls, two normal stalls, and three urinals in the men's bathroom. I look in the first handicap stall, and there's no toilet paper in the dispenser. And that's because somebody took out every sheet of toilet paper, shredded them up, and threw it on the floor. It did not look like a kid had done it either, because it was like, neatly piled up somewhat. Looks like somebody would have been really bored. Uh, then... I go into the second handicap stall, and uh, I think somebody had uh, had way too much Taco Bell, and we'll leave it at that. You guys can probably visualize what I'm going for there. But yeah, it took me about an hour and three different cleaning products, a mop, and four towels to get that bathroom cleaned. <laughs> it was not a fun one. I have a lot of weird ass stories because I've done way too many weird jobs. Most of them aren't even that strange. It's just like, why did you do ever do that job? Because at the gas station, 50% of my time I would be cooking. The other 50% of the time was delegated to the tasks nobody wanted to do or doing the manager's job. I'm probably the only reason that gas station did not get sued because I was the only person that actually went through and removed the products that were out of date. Guys, if you go to a gas station and buy food there, do check the date on stuff. 
because sometimes you get a lazy manager that doesn't do their job and you don't want to get sick off of laziness. Because I, some, when I first started doing it, uh, the ma my manager's job, because I noticed it wasn't getting done, I pulled food that had expired about four months ago. And when you're considering this is a made-to-eat food product that has meat and cheese and stuff, you really don't want products that expired months ago being on the shelves. Also, I think I found a cake. Uh, you know those little weird cakes that come in plastic wrap? And I don't know the brand name, but a lot of gas stations have them. Oh, new cleaning skill. Hell yeah. Dirt on the mini-map. Let's go. You can see all of this dirt now. It is beautiful. It's gonna make cleaning so much easier because now we can actually see where the majority of the dirt is. We're gonna go there in a minute. Where is the rest of this dirt? There should be something around here. It's hard to see it on this brick sometimes, which is why I'm so excited to have my dirt mini-map. It makes this job in particular so much easier. Probably something up top. Okay. We are 78% on this hallway. We're just going to walk around and scrub the top here because we can't really tell what's what. And my dirt radar only picks up a little bit right now. And I have a feeling most of it's probably on the ceiling. Yep. How did I miss that? I swear I am blind sometimes. For 90%, is there more on the ceiling? Big clumps? No, I don't believe so. Okie dokie. Let's go along the baseboards again. On the brick where it's hard to see. We're at 90% on the cleaning in here. We need to remember it's that door that we have to go through. Where is the last 10% of the dirt? <laughs> I don't want to leave anything undone. It's one of my pet peeves. Okay, 97%. We're getting there. Don't even know where that 7% came from, but you know what? We'll take it. Uh, we might just have to go on. We'll try and go back to that hallway if we can. Otherwise, we'll just accept the like 99% that we'll get on the job. Well, I've completely lost my train of thought again and have no idea what story I was telling at the time. So, yeah, we're just gonna go back to uh, peaceful cleaning. We'll see what all needs to be done in here. Let's close the door so we have a better view. There we go. More dirt along the side of the wall here. And there, there's all the dirt. Window time! Yeah, this one definitely looks like it is South Carolina in spring. It is so yellow. I had a white Volkswagen Jetta when I lived in South Carolina. Uh, I now have a new car, but... My Volkswagen, being white, would turn yellow. Whenever it came time for spring. And, uh, yeah. It's killer for allergies. Never live in South Carolina if you have any sort of uh, pollen allergies. It's literally hell on earth. But, yeah. Pollen was 90% of my life growing up. Okie dokie. We have a new thing here. Tyler again, because I don't really care about either of those. So we're going to go for plasterer next, even though we will not be plastering much stuff. It is still a good skill to have. We're just going to make this so that's facing towards us instead of into the corner. And there we go. There is that room done, which leaves us with this room, which has uh, some dirt for us to clean up and not much else. Graffiti is slightly harder for this thing to clean, but not much. This uh, wonder mop it continues to amaze. Time to clean the pollen and or vomit encrusted windows. It makes me think, think it might be vomit because of the fact it's on the inside of the windows. That or they just, you know, it, it might be something else that's slightly more illicit that is a similar color, but uh, who knows. The windows do look so much better once you clean them. You can actually, it goes from being completely unable to see through to just nice and crystal clear. 
I wish I had this magical device that instantly cleans windows and makes them crystal clear. Because my windows are covered with doggy noses. Because my dogs love to sit at the front window and press their noses against it and wait for me. So we could paint this if we want to. We painted last episode. I really don't want to paint more. So we're just going to install this radiator and we're going to call this house good to go. We missed a tiny bit of dirt. We didn't paint a little bit, but I really don't want to paint, so we'll just skip the bonus. <laughs> but there is that done. Let's go ahead and we will complete the job. We're going to get 4200 for that job, which is quite a bit of money. You can see the befores and afters here. They are gorgeous. This is why I like organizing it a little bit sometimes. It just looks so bad beforehand and then actually decent afterwards. Much better. That kitchen transformation is the biggest change by far. But yeah, that is yet another house completed. We do have a portfolio that we can actually go and look at that shows all of the houses we've completed which uh, we'll probably go and look at that at some point. I think it's probably on my laptop. Yeah, my portfolio. So we can actually look here, see the befores and afters, which is pretty nice. I don't know where the afters are. Oh, that's how, before, after, which is pretty cool. You can also export photos. So if you wanna use this for like a thumbnail or something, you can, which is really cool. So, we are currently about 30 minutes into the video, so we are going to go ahead and call it here, guys. When we get back for our next episode, we're still going to be looking for some tiling because we really need to get that bathroom tile done. It's not looking great, guys. It comes out too far. We need to be able to do hardwood so that we can refloor this place and uh, get that little gap covered up. But yeah. I will see you all in the next episode when we do some more jobs and have a wonderful rest of your day.